All right, I think, um, I think most of us have got a good old Lemmy story. This is my Lemmy Kilminster story. Many, many years ago, when I was just a lad, about 20 years ago, Motorhead put out this album called 1916, some of you may know it. We had the honor with the Almighty of opening up for Motorhead on the UK tour for the 1916 album. And about two weeks prior to that, we were in LA doing a showcase gig and we found out that Motorhead were staying in the same hotel as us in Los Angeles. And we were all too nervous and shy to find out what room they were in. But I'm sitting in my room at 7 o'clock and the phone goes in the hotel room. Pick it up, answer it. A voice in the on the line going, Ricky, it's Lenny. He says, my room now, 623. Then fucking Lemmy calls you, you go. Sprinted to the elevator, got in the elevator up to the sixth floor, walked down the corridor, shit myself, you know, first time I was going to meet Lemmy. Wanted to fit in, wanted to make sure I looked apart. I was 23 years old, I was in fucking LA. I was going to meet Lemmy, and it was fucking great. No forces! Knocked on the door. The door opens, there's Lemmy and all his fucking regalia. Kill me! Smoke filled the room. I mean, you had to fucking cut the smoke to get into the room. I walk into the room, there's Phil Campbell, motorhead guitar player, lying on the bed. There's strippers in the room, there's fucking loads of fucking hangers on. It's everything it should have been. It was the greatest rock and roll moment of my fucking life. So Lemmy says, come on in. He goes, sit down. And he proceeds to rack me out the biggest fucking line of speed you've ever seen in your life. Then he hands me a pint glass full of with that much Jack Daniels and with that much Coca-Cola. And this is the bit I remember the best, with two ice cubes in it. I was going to ask for more ice, but I thought, ah, you know, I better not, it's Lemmy, you know. So he hands me this pint glass of Jack and Coke, and he puts these headphones on, which is the new Motorhead album. He goes, snort that, drink that, and listen to this. So I'm fucking, I'm bringing this JD, do the shoes line of ways, listening to the new Motorhead album, and it's blowing my fucking mind, it's fucking amazing. Lemmy's talking up with Jack and Coke, you know, and I'm trying to hold it together, I mean, I'm fucking just... I'm, I'm, you know, it's before mobile, mobile phones, but I wanted to grab the phone and phone my buddies and go, you'll never guess what, you know. The album continues to play, I'm getting more and more fucked up. To the point where I'm starting to get the spins. And the album's coming to an end and I'm going, shit, just hold it together, Ricky boy, fucking keep your, keep your fucking, keep your head together. The album finishes and I stand up to tell Lemmy how fucking brilliant it is. Room starts spinning, I trip over my left foot, fall flat on my face, the pint glass breaks, goes into my eye, cuts my eye open, some fucking snot comes out my nose and I throw up into my mouth at the same time as I hit the fucking ground. So I'm lying there in all my body fluids. I can smell this rank smell and hear this breathing in my left ear. You're alright! And all I hear is Lemmy going, you'll never fucking make it more like your life breaks. Ah, Jack, nice of you to come back and join us. This is for the greatest rock and roller ever. This is for Lemmy Kilmister. May it get better soon. Thank you.